well, there's a new brand in town, baby, and it's at Sephora, and it is like actually somewhat more affordable than most of the brands of Sephora, and I am here for it. So the new brand is called LYS Beauty. The LYS stands for Love Yourself. This is a brand new brand, and it's kind of a big deal because it's the first black owned, clean color cosmetics brand that's being launched at Sephora, and I just think that's so cool. So the three words like on their little PR thing here, these were sent to me in PR. This is not sponsored, they're not paying me for this. They describe the brand as clean, affordable and inclusive. And I think that is so, so cool. The shade range is incredibly diverse, incredibly inclusive. The price point, these are all right around $20. Most of them are less than $20. And I think one of the products is 22 that we're trying today. And compared to the other brands of Sephora, that is a big deal. And it also has the clean Sephora approval stamp on them as well, if that's something that's important to you. So we're gonna be trying these on today. They're, listen, the packaging of these is so pretty as well. So so it's just, it's got a lot going for it. And my expectations before I sat down and like tried these on were very high. So I'm excited for you to see how these perform and see if there's anything new that you want to add to your makeup bag. Okay, so I am so excited to try these. The first thing I wanted to put on is actually their lip treatment oil. This is the Speak Love Glossy Lip Treatment Oil. So this retails for $12 and it's got sunflower, carrot, sweet almond, and macadamia nut oil, which is supposed to nourish the lips. Then it has cold pressed chia seed oil that's supposed to plump the lips. And listen, I am here for that. I love, love plumping lip products. And then it says vitamin E will soothe dry lip. My understanding is you can use this just alone as it is as a lip treatment, but you can also use it on top of like lipstick. So we're gonna do both today, but I figure right now my lips need a little TLC. So we're gonna throw some of this on there. There's no discernible smell to it. Mm. It's not super sticky, but it's also not super, I don't, runny is not the right word, but like some lip treatment oils that I do like, can sometimes be a thinner consistency. This one's kind of in that medium range where you don't feel like it's gliding all around, but it feels really good on the lip. So I'm enjoying it so far. This is definitely up my alley when it comes to products that I like. Something that's clear, something I don't really need a mirror for. I can throw in my purse, not even worry about it. I can keep it in my desk and just slap it on in the middle of the day when I feel like my lips just feel dry. So I always do a speed reviews video every other month where products that I feature in videos like this, like a first impressions, I try for longer. And then in those videos, you see a more finalized review because obviously I can only speak to this first 24 hours of using it. You know what I mean? So far, so good. You will see this again at the lipstick stage. <laughs> Got the little PR booklet here. So the next thing I am so intrigued to try is the LYS Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. Here's why I'm interested in this. It says it's got 5% niacinamide and AHAs, and it's, supposed to, and it's supposed to have pore and shine control. Again, it's got the really cute triangular packaging, but it is a squeezy tube, so it's not like gonna break in your makeup bag or anything. This retails for $20, and that brings me to an important point. Most of these products, actually all of them except for one, retail for $20 or under, and I think that's so cool. I feel like for the longest time, Sephora, only carried brands that were just so expensive. So now Sephora is carrying more brands that have this kind of middle of the road price range. And quite frankly, who was it? Kelly Gucci I was watching earlier today. She was saying that, you know, at a certain point, some of these price points are kind of close to drugstore because if you've watched the drugstore pricing lately, a lot of the brands are creeping up into that $15, $17.99, $18.99 price range that previously the drugstore was nowhere near. And so in the weirdest of ways, drugstore brands have, are charging more, but then you've got this mid-range brand like LYS that is charging close to the higher drugstore price point range. So that's just something to keep in mind. So the way it's described is it says that it's a gripping serum face primer that's gonna balance the look of your skin, minimize the look of enlarged pores and help brighten the look of hyperpigmentation. Niacinamide is something though that I always wanna work into my skincare routine more, but you know, you're at a certain point I'm using so many products that it can be hard to find where to fit it in. So I think the idea of having it in your daily primer is really cool. So niacinamide is supposed to help reduce the appearance of pores. It's gonna help with excess shine. I didn't know that. I like that it's kind of a hybrid between skincare and you know, a makeup product. It's a clear, thin formula, it spreads really easily. It's got that kind of gripping feel, like if you've tried the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. That one I didn't love with my skin, but this has that same kind of tacky feel to it. My skin looks nice and hydrated. And I did put this on top of 
SPF and it's sitting nicely on top of it, which is great because for me, if I'm gonna take the time to do a primer step, it needs to work after the SPF or else I'm not gonna put it on, like period. So I like that it actually did, it smoothed over that perfectly, no weird pilling or anything like that. It's already setting down a little bit so it's not quite as sticky, but again, I feel like my skin looks nice and hydrated. Just so you can kind of see the texture, there it is. So it's not crazy thin, but it's really easy to spread. This is nice. And again, no discernible smell. I love that. All right, so here is the piece de resistance. It's the Triple Fix Serum Foundation. This is the only one that retails for above $20. This one is 22. They have 35 shades. It's got buildable light to medium coverage, natural skin finish, and it says it's enriched with skincare. So the skincare, they have, they have ashwagandha, which is gonna combat skin stress and visible signs of aging. Hyaluronic acid, of course, helps with hydration. It's one of my favorite ingredients in skincare. Turmeric provides antioxidant protection, and then avocado oil is gonna help with the skin's moisture. I just said avocado. Usually I say avoca avocado. How do you say it? Some people really hit the, the avocado. So the shade I have is LP4, and I think it's gonna be pretty good. I was kind of blending it onto my skin yesterday to see, and I'm like, I think this is the one. I'm gonna use my Shop Missé $1.50 sponge that is the sponge for me. It is the only sponge for me. It's so good, and actually, I need to place another Shop Missé order to order like 10 of these and they're like a dollar, so it's not a big deal. Again, packaging is beautiful. I love the like beige colored little pump there. It's a nice frosted glass bottle. I love a medium coverage foundation. So right off the bat, the fact that this is supposed to be buildable and more around medium coverage tells me I'll probably like it. I'm hoping it looks moisturizing too, because that's something I definitely prefer in a foundation since I have normal to dry skin. It did have a little bit of coverage, but you can still see some of my skin through, which I think can be really pretty. And you you know yourself, you know what, you, if you've got a lot to cover and you like to have it covered, maybe this isn't the one for you, but even just throwing on that second layer, it definitely covered more. So I do agree with the buildable claim. There's a reason I'm only doing it with the sponge. It's just the way I apply everything. And so me trying to go in with a brush, I don't like using brushes for foundation. So I already know that any foundation, even my most favorite foundations ever, when I apply them with a brush, I don't end up liking them. So I figure for this, I just wanna use it the way that I personally would. But typically with a brush, you'd get a little bit fuller coverage, but I just love how this keeps that sheen to the skin. I just feel like it looks so healthy. All right, so with one coat everywhere, except for here, I guess I had two coats, it really, this is the way I like my skin to look. So I am <laughs> pretty pumped that I like this because listen, I just feel like I've been hitting a lot of really good face products lately, but I've also been trying a lot that I've been underwhelmed by. So I was really, really hopeful to like this and I really just think it looks so nice. And I wanna share something I actually highlighted. I zoomed in and highlighted it so I could see it on my computer from here. So the article was saying that the CEO said she knew she wanted to create a brand that shatters the myth that clean beauty, deep shade ranges, and high performance products can't coexist. And I really do feel like that's so true. There is this kind of, at least in my head, I always have this thing like, oh, if it's got maybe slightly cleaner ingredients, and I know there's a whole argument over clean beauty and stuff. I'm not here to dive into that argument, okay? I'm just saying, I definitely feel like in my head when I hear something's like more natural or more clean, I instantly think like, oh, so it probably doesn't work well. Isn't that terrible? But I don't think I'm alone in that, and I'm not saying that I'm right. I don't think that I necessarily am, but but for whatever reason, I've always thought that. But the idea that this brand is supposed to have cleaner ingredients and be more inclusive and have really well-performing, high-performance products is kind of unique. So I'm excited to keep playing with this one as well, but first impressions, I really think it looks really nice. And 22 bucks, depending on where you buy it, that's like the same price as a L'Oreal foundation that's not on sale at like a drugstore, you know? I see my mug. I was just switching out my mugs. We keep all of our mugs in our basement. We bought this like Ikea bookshelf thing that we could put all of our mugs on and we store them there. And then like every month we'll go in and just trade out a few mugs because we only keep like 
12 mugs in use in our kitchen. Otherwise it would fill all of our cabinets, right? And it's just something we love. So this is one I just recently pulled out and it's such a good one. All right, so I'm gonna throw on a little bit more makeup off camera and then we'll be back to try some more of these products. All right, so we're gonna do this next part in a kind of interesting order. The next thing I wanna do now that I've got a decent amount of my makeup done is try the Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush. This retails for $16. I have the shade called Self Love and it's this really pretty kind of mauve shade, kind of rosy. So I, this, listen, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. I love cream blush so much. It is my favorite kind of blush. By the way, the packaging of this is slightly different than the packaging of like their bronzer and powder. I just thought that was interesting. I actually think I like this packaging better. It shows fingerprints a little less easily. Let's try it with the sponge. Cause sometimes it's nice when you can do it like that easily. But I just, I think that triangle shape is so cute. Oh yeah. Okay, so that applied real nicely with the sponge and so easily. Sometimes when I apply a cream blush with my fingers, I get stressed out to get like the shape right or like the diffusion right, you know what I mean? Because I know where I wanna put it, but sometimes it's hard to get the, the second you're placing pigment on there, you're like, okay, I gotta blend it, you know? So it's kinda nice to be able to use a sponge where it's a little more forgiving and look how nice that looks. It doesn't mattify that area, so if you have more, kind of crepey skin in this area or you just feel like your skin's dry and you don't like the look. I feel like cream blush is a really easy way to kind of get rid of that. So I'm gonna use my e.l.f. $4 stipple brush to apply it. Okay, yeah, so I would say if you're using a brush, stipple some off because it can get to be a lot fast, it looks like. That's probably a good rule of thumb kind of, you know, when in doubt, stipple some of it off. <laughs> so it definitely is more pigmented this way but again, really pretty, and I typically, with any cream blush, would take the foundation-y side of my sponge just to kind of blend it in some more, which is why, like, dang, if you're applying it with your sponge, you kind of cut that step out because it does it as you're blending it in. Got vitamin E, avocado oil, and kaolin clay. It's gonna help with hydration, it's gonna calm your skin, it's gonna help with the appearance of pores. It's really cool to have good ingredients even in your blush and bronzer. Like, I just, I don't know, I think that's neat. I just really like the way this looks. And I feel like because my skin looks so glowy right now and then I use this cream blush, it's making me look like I'm wearing like highlighter, but I'm not. So, so far application was easy. It blended really easily into the skin. I feel like it diffuses itself nicely and it's just all around really pretty. All right, so now we're gonna do powder, then we're gonna do bronzer because the bronzer is a powder bronzer. And I didn't wanna put the cream blush on top of the powder and the brown, anyway. So it's always tricky when you're mixing creams and powders. So this is the LYS Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. I have it in the translucent shade. It's called Resilient. This retails for $18. So the powder also has niacinamide. So you'd be getting niacinamide in the primer and then also in the powder, which is gonna help with pores, green tea extract for antioxidants, sodium hyaluronate to help. Did I say that right? Hy hyaluronate, oh boy, oh boy. That's one that I could get like tripped up on for like 10 minutes. Is it snowing outside? Uh, which is gonna help retain skin moisture and plump the skin. So typically if I'm using a pressed powder that's not a powder foundation, I'm just gonna put it where I feel like I need it. So definitely in this area here, maybe a little bit on the under eye as well. Wow, that soaked that oil up fast. Maybe more than I wanted it to, you know? I'm not a pressed powder person though. Like I don't use it every day. I, I, I'll i use loose powder from time to time, especially if I want my makeup to last longer. And I will use um, powder foundations on my jam. Like that is my favorite. I'll pair that with a BB cream and it's just beautiful. So I might hit the outside of my cheeks just a little bit because I know I'm about to put a powder bronzer on it and I don't want it to stick weird in some of those areas. But this is definitely, if you need some oil control, looks like it's really soaking that oil up. I will say this, I don't think this product, because I do have drier skin and I don't love a super matte look, is necessarily for me. So out of the ones I've tried so far, this is one that I think it's only right for you if you have more oily skin, combo skin, or if you just really like a super mattified look because I actually want a little bit of that shine back on my forehead now. <laughs> but it definitely does the job it said it did, so I can't fault it for that. By the way, they have brushes too. I was kind of looking at that. I don't have those. I honestly, looking at them, they look like the kind of brushes I like, so I might end up purchasing them. It looks like they have a, yeah, ooh baby. I love a stippling brush as I was just using one. 
They have a cruelty-free stippling face brush that I am eyeing. So the bronzer I wanna try is the No Limits Matte Bronzer. It retails for $18. It says it's a talc-free velvet formula that's skincare infused. I have the lightest shade, which is Motivate. And again, this one has niacinamide. It's got green tea extract. So it's got a lot of the same ingredients as the powder did, which makes sense because in theory, they're both powders, they're just different shades, you know what I mean? It looks like most of my bronzers, so I think shade-wise it will work. And let's just give it a try. I'm getting like nervous. I don't wanna go too overboard. It's always so hard, because some bronzers you can really pile on and they look nice, and some you need to be a little more careful with, and when it's the first time you've tried it, you're like, I don't know what level I need to be at. So I'm gonna err on the side of caution. I typically just take it literally from here and I just kind of lightly, whatever's left on the brush, blend it back and then just a little bit down the neck if I can. Well, it blended really easily on. I definitely look sun-kissed. I could see where if I used a brush that was denser than this, it would be a lot. It's got a lot of pigment to it. Actually, I'm curious to swatch it. Yeah, it's definitely got some pigment and it's definitely a velvety formula. Uh, by the way, these all have a little mirror in them too, if you were curious, and there's a magnetic closure. Feels very high end. So I wanna throw on a lipstick and then throw that oil back on it. I was looking at my lipsticks last night. I couldn't sleep anyway. Uh, and so I was, I saw this one, I'm like, gosh, like I bought that and was so excited and I like never use it. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in In Love with Olivia. And it's just a really pretty kind of peachy pink. <laughs> These smell really good too. All right, so I figured we would toss this on just to kind of see, and then we'll go through each product and I'll kind of share my finalized thoughts for today, just for my first impression. It's kind of melting into that lip color. So it's, so it's moisturizing my lips and it's all like kind of melting into one. Actually, you know what? Let me show you this in daylight first. I, technically I'm in daylight now too, but I just wanna show it to you closer to the window so you can really see what it looks like. All right, so looking at it, I just feel like my skin looks nice and glowy. Again, that powder did mattify and I do feel like it's kind of made it look a little, because I have texture right there, I don't love putting powder there, but when it's super oily, I feel like I need to. So powder wise, I'm not totally sold on that one, but that's a personal thing. I just don't really like pressed powder because I like my skin to look a little bit sheenier. But I feel like that blush, look at how it's catching the light. I do not have a highlighter on. I'm finding that really hard to believe, but it's that's just amazing. And then the lip oil, you know I'm loving. It just feels so good. It doesn't have like a plumpy tingle. So if you were nervous about that, you like plumping, but you don't want that tingle. It doesn't have that, but it does. I feel like my lips do look a little less liney. I don't know if that's because it's plumping it or if it's because it just is so creamy and melty that it just looks better, which is fine because I really like the way it looks. So the bronzer I feel like didn't look like too much, but I am glad I used a lighter hand with it. I'm excited to play with that one some more. With the foundation, I'm loving the way it looks, but if you don't like a glowy complexion, you might wanna pair it with an even more mattifying primer because I think it is a beautiful formula, but if you don't like that kind of a natural glow, it's not gonna be the one for you. I'm glad that I used it with that primer that made my skin look healthy, but it wasn't overly glowy because typically I'll throw on like a glowy SPF and sometimes if I put it, if I pair something like that with a glowy foundation like this LYS one, it would be too much. And I'm already at that level of like, whoa, it's pretty glowy. So that's just something to keep in mind. So yeah, those are kind of my initial window thoughts. All right, so if you were on Sephora's site right now and you were like, Jessica, I'm gonna buy one thing from LYS Beauty, what should it be? I really think one of the ones I would personally recommend is the cream blush. Assuming you like cream blush, I just love the way it melted into the skin. I don't feel like I need a highlighter with it, but it's not like it's shimmery. So really loved how easy that was to work with. And then for my second one, I'm I'm really kind of torn between the treatment oil that's $12 and the foundation. I just think they're both so, so beautiful. Like I said, the powder is just not for me and my skin type and my preferences. The bronzer was beautiful. I do feel like it performs so far, similarly to a lot of other bronzers I have, but not in a bad way. I mean, it blends really easily on, it can be super pigmented or not, depending on how you apply it. So I'm really enjoying it and I love how velvety smooth it is. You know what I just realized though? I didn't set my under eye and I'm kind of curious to try this on my under eye, the, that powder, because it might actually be really good for that. Ooh. Jessica, you better not write this powder off too soon. 
it really like flattened and set that area really nicely. I used the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer today, which I do feel like is one that needs to be set. Like it does not do well without being set by something. I mean, that <laughs> spoke too soon, Jess. That may be a new under eye powder go-to. And the primer, it's so hard to judge a primer day one. So I really liked the application. I like that it works well over SPF and that it has good skincare. So I'll keep playing with this. Subscribe, stay tuned for my future speed reviews video so I can give you updates on all of these in the future. So anyway, I hope that this video was helpful, educational. Maybe you've got a new product you're excited to add to your makeup bag, to add to your Sephora cart. Thank you again, LYS Beauty, for sending these to me and letting me play with them. I'm excited to see what this brand comes out with next. I always appreciate when a brand doesn't launch like 50 different products all at the same time because I do feel like that kind of detracts from the fact that these were really kind of thought through and time is really spent on each one. It just makes them a little bit more special. I feel like this is a special brand. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.